Camouflage is a commonly used tactic in military affairs. The camouflage uniforms worn by soldiers and the different colored paint on tanks are forms of camouflage. However, camouflage is not only about blending into the surrounding environment, but also about disguising oneself as other objects. For example, we have previously introduced bombs disguised as coal and armored vehicles, disguised as ordinary sedans. Today we will introduce another camouflage system that is disguised as a shipping container. The Amos Mortar System is a weapon developed by Finland and Sweden in the 1990s. It is a modular system that is currently installed on different land vehicles as a self-propelled mortar. It has also been tested on small watercraft. It is a mature equipment. However, Finland has attempted to integrate the entire system into a 20-foot shipping container for convenient transportation, maneuverability, and a certain level of camouflage. This system is called the Patria Nemo container. Nemo is a lightweight version of the Amos system. The original system had a twin barrel structure, which could deliver more concentrated firepower but was heavier and required higher carrying capacity for the vehicle. Nemo, on the other hand, has a single barrel structure, which is lighter and more suitable for light vehicles. Although the Patria Nemo container has the dimensions of a standard shipping container, it is not modified from a shipping container. It is a newly constructed structure with high strength, accommodating the turret, ammunition loading mechanism, spare ammunition, and fire control system. Placing it alone is like setting up an artillery position. The low-profile turret is installed at the rear and upper part of the container and can rotate and elevate. The box is supported by a reinforced frame structure with multiple longitudinal and transverse beams. It has conventional cabin doors and escape hatches. Although it is a closed structure, the basic structure does not provide protection. Inside the container, in addition to the weapon system and fire control system, there are 100 spare ammunition rounds. The abundant ammunition is sufficient to support strong firepower output. Only three personnel are needed to operate the entire system. The container is equipped with air conditioning, providing a comfortable working environment. The operators can carry necessary light weapons for self-defense. The actual container is actually 0.6 meters lower than a standard shipping container. This is not a design error, but a consideration for the prominent turret structure. When the barrel is retracted and the top protective cover is added, the overall dimensions are just right for convenient shipping or transportation by road trucks. Customers can choose additional steel armor or ceramic armor for protection, as well as nuclear, biological, and chemical protection systems. The additional armor thickness is 8 to 10 millimeters, which will increase the overall weight by about 3 tons. In 2017, Finland showcased the Patria Nemo container to the outside world. As Finland promotes, the biggest advantage of this system is its mobility. Users only need to purchase this system, which can be placed in a base as fixed defensive firepower or transformed into a self-propelled mortar by choosing a suitable truck as the vehicle without spending more money on expensive self-propelled artillery. The development of the Patria Nemo container is not technically complex because the most complex mortar system itself is readily available. Its selling point is mainly the new concept, which may be attractive to overseas bases. Currently, there is no news of any country purchasing it. 